ever since I was 16. I was determined to have the greatest adventure that any one person could ever have. There's a new documentary coming to HBO that explores iconic singer David Bowie's 54-year-old career. It's called Moon Age Daydream, and it will give viewers the chance to see never-before-seen footage of Bowie, performances, and even music. Fred Morgan is the director of the film and joins us this morning to tell us more. Good morning. Good morning. Um, I imagine you go into the film archive and you expect to see David Bowie performing on stage. Was there something that jumped out at you that kind of blew your mind that you didn't expect? Well, I was in a, given full access to the Bowie archive, and um, I was expecting about four months' worth of material. And uh, it took me two hours to go through the, the archive. So um, there were a lot of surprises, um, everything from we discovered all of the outtakes for Ziggy Stardust and um, footage from never-before-seen concerts. Um, in all, there were over five million assets that I was provided with and um, allowed to use to assemble this film. So it, he gave, he knew you were going to be doing this before he passed away, and then his family signed off on this too. So they gave you access to old photographs, paintings, what kind of other stuff? Well, we had access to all of everything that David had created during his lifetime. Um, and what's uh, incredible about David was, despite the fact that he didn't really have a home until he was um, in his late 40s, he saved everything. Mm -hmm. Um, so I had diaries, journals, um, photographs, mass recordings, films he made, screenplays he was working on. Um, it's, it's just uh, and one of the most amazing personal archives I think any artist has, um, has left us. So, uh, you know, I think for Robin and, and for, for me, we're, David Bowie for us came huge in the early 80s with Let's Dance where he was a little more mainstream and I know he was super artsy way, way before that. But what was behind this drive to constantly express himself in sculpture and, and really everything? <clears throat> David understood at a very young age how limited our time on this earth was. And he set about to have the greatest adventure of anyone of his generation. And I think he, for the most part, achieved it. Um, it's, it's, it you know, most of us don't really have an appreciation for the brevity of life until we've severed some sort of trauma. Um, but like I said, he had it right from the start and um, he was not afraid to risk his audience or to alienate his audience to scratch a creative, creative itch. And so I think that authenticity, that honesty uh, has really you know, created um, this incredible relationship between him and his audience. Very quickly, one thing that's really interesting about the, mm -hmm. the Let's Dance period, when he first came to light for, for many of us in our generation, um, David had been performing for 15 years at that point, and he had decided that he wanted to experiment and see what it would be like to be a mainstream artist and set about to create an album that would go to the top of the charts. No. Oh, so it was an experiment. He could have done that long before that, huh? Yeah, wow. it's kind of mind blowing. Yeah, it that, is. Like, it was just another challenge for him. Yeah. At that station of his career, and who gets to decide that? Fifteen years in, like, oh yeah, I'm going to be the biggest star in the world this year. Right. Yeah. Um, wow. So it's really kind of remarkable how deliberate and um, how much he took advantage of his time on on Earth. Let's well, start streaming on HBO platform April 29th. Brett, thanks for joining us. Thank you so much for having me.